if you are feeling anxious, if you are feeling frustrated in your career, or if you're just having trouble achieving the goals that you set, watch this video where I'm breaking down the planet that is behind this all, which is Mars. In this video specifically, I'm covering what it means to have your Mars in the sign of Pisces in your birth chart. Hello all beautiful Be The Hero subscribers and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm covering everything you need to know about Mars in the sign of Pisces, including what your biggest strengths are going to be and your biggest struggles, which will likely come up in your career. My name is Isabel and I help you understand who you are using personality typing and astrology because I was the person who took way too long to understand themselves and I constantly just felt lost and confused about my direction in life and who I was. I felt frustrated and unfulfilled. Then I discovered the Enneagram, the Myers-Briggs, and so much more, and I finally understood myself. I knew what I wanted, and I knew my behaviors so I could act in alignment with my desires. So now I'm here to teach you about these things so that you can understand yourself too in the most simple fashion. Now before I get too far into this video, hit the link in the description below to get your very own My Horoscope Made Me Do It Hoodie. I'm offering these for a limited time. I have no idea how long I'm going to offer them for. So get your own My Horoscope Made Me Do It hoodie now in the link in the description below so that we can be matching. In this video, I'm covering everything you need to know about Mars in Pisces in your birth chart. But before I get into this specific aspect, I want to talk about what Mars is in the first place. Because oftentimes we get into astrology and things don't quite sound accurate. We're like, I guess that's accurate. I don't know, not really. Uh, it could be anyone. That could have been said about any person. And that's because uh, we might not fully understand what that planet is about, or we don't understand the zodiac sign fully, which leads us to having a very limited perception of certain aspects in our chart and leads to us hearing stereotypes. So Mars is the planet of physical, energy, vitality, and action. To understand what Mars is about, I'm gonna give an example of other planets so you can see the contrasting difference between Mars and other planets. So the moon is all about our emotions. It shows us how we feel. Venus is about what we value the most in love. And Mercury is the planet that shows us how we think. So Mars is just about how we take action what our physical strengths are, what our talents are, and what how we need to act specifically in a career that is going to be our strength. If you're not acting in alignment with your Mars, you find yourself likely frustrated in your career or just having a hard time achieving personal goals that you set because your Mars demands that you act in a certain way. Some people, you'll notice, do better acting off of impulse and chasing the excitement or doing no things. Some people learn better or move through life better when they have a systematic plan set up for everything. And this is because of their Mars sign. So understanding your Mars will show you how you need to move through life. So what is the Pisces archetype? Pisces is the final zodiac sign in the zodiac wheel. It is the 12th zodiac sign and it represents this finalization phase where we reach in a way the most highest peak of pure consciousness and at the same time it almost acts as a preface to Aries uh, because it's like that preface chapter in a book uh, where we are in the womb is as it also represents where we are so pure that we've up leveled and at the same time we are pure because we have not yet been exposed to the world. People who have strong Pisces traits or whenever we have Pisces somewhere in our chart, we become sensitive, gentle, uh, empathetic, empathic even, aware of all the frequencies around us and having this sense of unconditional love for everything and everyone. We are in fact so sensitive and artistic that we see life through rose tinted glasses. We want to see beauty everywhere we go. We just love love. We want to give it to everyone freely. We're compassionate and gentle, soft and kind. And this makes us a little bit sensitive to our reality. 
We can have a hard time when it comes to seeing the harsh truth of the world. We can get used often because Pisces just wants to be gentle and people can be manipulative. And we find ourselves just wanting to connect to solitude and to connect to nature because Pisces is all about connecting to the 5D, to connecting to purity. And so Pisces is this uh, archetype of purity, perfect balance and in the flow, in the stream of consciousness. So what does it mean to have your Mars in the sign of Pisces? Mars, the planet of action, is generally has fiery tendencies. And this is because they reflect the god Ares, the god of war, or in Roman mythology, uh, Mars Ultor. Uh, I'm going to admit, I don't know if I said that right, but point is, they're the god of, it represents the god of war. So there's this strength, masculine energy, fieriness, ability to fight and take action that is always associated with Mars. It shows us how we move through life and how we be embrace masculine energy. And Mars it acts as the parent to the zodiac sign Aries. Each planet is a parent to a zodiac sign, one or more. Mars is the planet, uh, parent of Aries. And so when Mars is in Aries, it feels at home. It's embracing that natural aggression. With Mars in Pisces, these people can feel a little bit constrained in some ways. Mars feels constrained because this is not normal for it to act in such a gentle way. And so people with a Mars in Pisces generally feel this energy through life. You probably feel as if you're always just acting in such a gentle and soft way that is not usually appreciated by society. People with a Mars and Pisces want to move through life in the most soft and gentle way possible. The goal of a Mars and Pisces is to maintain a sense of emotional harmony and peace with their environment. And so there are probably people who love the arts or believe in unconditional love, uh, in childhood just have big hearts that they want to share with everyone and oftentimes can find themselves getting hurt because their purity is just taken advantage of. Pisces is represented by the archetype of the fish and you can think of a fish flowing in a stream and with Mars and Pisces these people move through life as if they are the fish in the stream just going with the flow and this can cause a lot of frustration in childhood from parents or teachers or maybe even in their career now that they just go with the flow. They do whatever comes towards them. Pisces has a very, Mars in Pisces has a very indirect approach to life. They just want to move as fluidly as possible and with their emotions. And as something that I cover in each of these videos was that Mars, uh, there are four elements in astrology water, earth, fire, and air. And these represent the four different main areas or components of our being that we can be driven by. So earth is material security and comfort. Air is mental stimulus and intellect. Fire is passion. And uh, water is emotions. So this element that your Mars is in tells you what of those four things drives you the most to take action. So Pisces is a water sign. Mars in Pisces is driven by the desire to maintain alignment with their emotions. Same as Mars in Scorpio and Mars in Cancer, these people want to make sure they feel good about what they're doing at all times. And to other people, this can be annoying because who cares how it makes you feel? Just do what you need to do. Be responsible, especially for Mars in Pisces. Mars in Pisces is going to act in a way that always makes them feel good. But they do hold some differences from Mars in Scorpio and Mars in Cancer. After all, Mars in Cancer is very aligned with how they feel specifically. Mars in Scorpio knows how they feel and they're trying to attain a better sense of feeling by intimately connecting with another person or passion project. Mars in Pisces, uh, Pisces in general, is very connected to the external world. They feel emotions, but not their own. They feel everyone else's emotions. They're very in touch with the frequencies of the world, hence why they're always said to be so empathic. And so Pisces takes other people's feelings as their own. So this leaves Mars, Mars and Pisces to always acting in alignment with what they think they feel, but in reality, their feelings are always changing based off of their external environment how their coworkers act with them, 
how the frequency, maybe even the Schumann resonance of the world, uh, all the people around them, that affects how they feel and they're going to act in alignment with how those make them feel. So Mars and Pisces not only moves in a non-linear way, just going with the flow, but they're following the flow of everyone else's energies. And this can be a good or bad thing for Mars and Pisces, because on one hand, Mars and Pisces is fulfilled as long as they are acting in alignment with that flow. So if they just follow it through its highs and lows, they'll feel pretty good. However, we all know that Mars is not the only aspect in our birth chart. We have a Venus and a moon and a sun and so much more. So Mars and Pisces might find themselves going with this flow on all these highs and lows and deep down maybe feeling a little bit controlled, restricted, or unfulfilled because they're following everyone else's desires and feelings instead of following their own. I think it's highly impactful for a Mars and Pisces to look at what their moon sign is because it's going to show them what they emotionally desire. And this will give you indicators into where, how you're going to end up taking actions based off of what kind of mood swings that you have. Pisces is a creative sign. And this might not always be prominent to those who have Piscean traits or Piscean placements, but with a Mars and Pisces, you need to recognize that no matter what, you have a creative uh a spark in you. And remember that creativity is not always painting and poetry and dancing, but creativity is the act of creation. Movement is arguably the act of creation. Exercising is the act of creation. Building is the act of creation. Your work, anything that allows creation or movement is a form of creativity for you. So it's highly important that a Mars in Pisces has a creative outlet because you want to move in a way that is not only harmonious and going with the flow, but creativity is the highest expression of flow for you. So do you have a creative outlet? Especially for your career, if you are in a creative uh, career, this is going to be really impactful for you and help you feel good. Mars and Pisces can do very well uh, if they are artists of some kind or creators of some kind, which could be an influencer, it could be building houses, or it could be stereotypically painting. Mars and Pisces wants to create. And if they're not in an environment in their career where they get to create, they're going to find themselves feeling depleted. Because creativity is the way that Mars and Pi or any Pisces aspect, but specifically Mars and Pisces, uh, Mar creativity is the way that Mars and Pisces combats their feelings of empathy that are constantly attacking them from the outside world. So if Mars and Pisces is, let's say, in a career where they constantly have frustrated coworkers and arguments and business meetings and their coworkers are constantly dumping on them and Mars and Pisces is in a position where they just have to maintain harmony and be peaceful and they don't have a creative outlet, they're going to find themselves feeling extremely depleted. But let's say Mars and Pisces is still in this role of having to be peaceful around conflict and they do have a creative outlet. They're going to be able to channel all that negative energy and turn it into a beautiful form of creation. Mars and Pisces is similar to Aquarius in the sense that they both want to help the collective. Aquarius does so through more rational means by creating new beliefs and ideas, whereas Mars in Pisces, uh, as a water sign, just wants to be creative. In a way, they can seem a little bit innocent and childlike in the sense that they think creativity can change the world. But they're on the right path. They're not wrong. Creativity is needed to support human inspiration and keep humanity feeling truly alive. And so Mars in Pisces wants to be in a position where they get to create in some way and that will make them feel like they're helping the collective. They want to absorb all the negatives and positives and channel it into a greater energy to help other people feel inspired and uplift their frequency. So Mars in Pisces, are you in a position in your career where you get to be creative? And if not, know that you do not have to always fulfill your Mars through your career. Yes, your Mars does have to be, is part of your career. You do need a career where some of your aspects of your Mars are playing to your strengths, but oftentimes we can't fulfill every single aspect of our Mars strengths and talents in our career. 
So you, as a Mars in Pisces, might need to find a creative outlet outside of your career to uh, channel this energy and keep your positivity flowing. Mars rules our physical vitality. And so what can happen for a lot of Mars and Pisces people is that if they are not surrounding themselves with any good, if they're constantly bombarded by negative energies and they don't have the time to create, they find themselves feeling depressed, sad, anxious, and overwhelmed by life to the point where they don't want to do anything. So Mars and Pisces needs that creative outlet in any form, whether that's also movement, in order to maintain their positive frequency. Because Mars in Pisces is always absorbing the energies of the world around them, they likely get labeled moody. And this is because, again, they're absorbing everything from the world around them. So how are they supposed to maintain their own frequency when the whole world is constantly throwing everything at them? So Mars in Pisces notice that empathic tendency and decide at what point you need to set boundaries. Anytime we have Pisces somewhere prominently in our chart, it's very important that we do work to set boundaries and set time alone in solitude. Mars and Pisces in general might do better in a career where they are working alone because they have this strong empathic energy and such strong creative energy. They might do better working in solitude and then channeling all this uh, energy of empathy into their community or with their family. It might be best for them to work in isolation so that they don't feel bombarded all the time. Pisces is also what we call a mutable sign. Now there are three modalities within astrology, so four zodiac signs per modality. And these three modalities are cardinal, fixed, and mutable. These represent the three different mentalities or roles that the zodiac signs can play in the zodiac. The cardinal signs are initiators of thought and leaders. They tend to seek more control. Fixed zodiac signs are closed-minded. They hold structures that have been put in place and they don't want them taken away from themselves. And they don't care what anyone else does. They just want to be able to do their own thing. Mutable signs are very susceptible to new information, are always taking in new opinions and can seem like they're wishy-washy so to say, because they're always changing their beliefs because, well, someone presented a new idea, so why wouldn't I try it out for size and see how that fits me? Mutable signs might also have trouble with making decisions generally because they're so open to their environment or choosing a life path for that matter because they might also get constantly told what they should do and they can't help but listen. Point of that is, Pisces is a mutable sign, which is not surprising given Pisces traits that we already know about. But as a mutable sign, Pisces people or people who have strong Piscean traits can struggle with uh, resiliency and boundaries and choosing their path. So when Mars is in Pisces, in this mutable sign, these people might have trouble choosing what actions they want to do. And instead, they're always reacting to whatever the flow takes them. Again, I've already talked about this whole flow part of the Mars in Pisces but putting it into perspective with the mutable aspect, these people might constantly find themselves either doing career paths that they're pushed towards or changing relationships or just doing what everyone else tells them to do instead of just thinking about what do I want to do? And again, it is important for Mars and Pisces to stay in alignment with that sense of emotional harmony, unconditional love and feel good around the, with the people around them. But Find the line between going with the flow and choosing which river path that you take. Mars and Pisces might need to practice making decisions and really body compassing what they want to do the most in order to feel fulfilled. Look to other aspects in your chart that can potentially have fire signs or earth signs to decide what it is you want to do the most or what you value the most. Venus could come into play here and show you what you value and what you believe is the most important to you. Your moon sign could show you what you emotionally desire and your sun sign could show you what you generally value in life. All these things could help you find your path and not feel so controlled by your environment. Yes, go with the flow, enjoy that flow, bring your creative energy to the table, but also know that you can decide the direction that you channel that pure energy. There are so many rivers and streams that you can choose from. 
There's so many different paths you can take and you can always change. So choose which one feels right to you now and which one serves your health the best. Overall, Mars and Pisces, you are some of the most empathic, creative, and gentle souls we have ever met. You are a gift to have as a part of a working team. You have this creative energy that inspires everyone, and you make everyone feel so welcome and accepted. You have such a pure frequency to you that people are magnetically attracted to you. Just remember that as Pisces is in your chart, you might need to set boundaries and you might need to practice more self-protection from the world's harsh frequencies and practice adding some, uh, to put it maybe harshly, backbone to your life so that you can live in alignment with your deepest desires. If this video helped you understand what it means to have your Mars in the sign of Pisces, let me know in the comments below. And before you go, grab the free birth chart workbook in the link in the description below, where I help you understand the basics of your chart using journal prompts. It takes less than 15 minutes to do this whole workbook and these are journal prompts that I've personally used to understand how to live in alignment with my soul's unique energetic imprint. That's the free birth chart workbook in the link in the description below. Grab it now. If you love workbooks and courses, if you're interested in astrology, self-development, uh, chakras, enneagram, mindfulness, you name it, you likely are interested in at least one of those if you're watching this video, then you need to grab the Making Mindfulness Fun bundle in the link in the description below where I have all 30 of our workbooks and courses on these topics available now for only $30. That's $1 per course per workbook. And not only do we have workbooks on astrology, but we also have workbooks on mindfulness and we have our masterclass chakra healing course, which is seven days of chakra healing. And this can be highly impactful for those who have a Mars and Pisces because they need to learn how to ground into their own energy field instead of letting their chakras being open to change by the world around them. That's the Making Mindfulness Fun bundle available for a limited time now in the link in the description below. Grab it and you have it for the rest of your life and you're the first to access any new workbooks that I put in. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. This wraps up my series on Mars through the signs. So check out the rest of the videos on the playlist on the Be The Hero channel and let me know what planetary aspect in your birth chart you want to hear about next because I just covered a lot of the major planets and I want to know what you are confused by or what you want to hear next so that I can serve you best. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, stay tuned for more videos, and from my heart to yours, namaste.